like the video and subscribe right now, or the cat snake will be in your room tonight. Ask Reddit, if you were to become 5 again, while maintaining everything you already know, what would you do? Say one day you wake up, and you're back to where you were, when you were 5 years old, but you still remember everything you've learned since that time. What would you do? Edit, just to clarify, we are talking time travel here. You wake up with all your knowledge that you have today in the year that you were 5 and you're 5 years old. Grab some .com domains. Are you the little shit who bought www.steam.com? Simple but genius. As an abused child, I can say with utmost certainty that were I to find myself in that situation, I would whoop me some ass. Because, ick now. 5 year olds may be small and weak, but knives are sharp and everyone's gotta sleep sometimes. Edit, it was a long time ago. Guys, the primary abuser is long dead. The remaining abusers have been cut out of my life. I've gotten help and continue to get therapy, and I'm doing fine. But were I to suddenly find myself back in hell? Yeah, no, no way would I go through that again. Edit hash 2, I refuse to do the mandatory and much hated gold edit. Because I'm a rebel, yo. Jujitsu. Easily ace every test, make everyone think him a genius, but then become a retard when it gets to 11th grade stuff. You'd probably actually become a genius. You would test into accelerated programs and advanced placements early on, quickly catching up to your current education level. Then, since you're already in all of the genius classes, you can further your education and will have the time, resources, and ability to do so. The world then becomes your oyster and you grow up to be a completely different person. This is my exact situation. I like to think if I started over high school would have been easier, when in reality I'd probably forget everything by the time I get in and still be a retard. Buy Bitcoin when it was $0.0001 dollars per coin. I'd mine it. It was super easy a few years ago. Any desktop computer could do it and generate thousands of Bitcoins then sell up in November 2013. Where would you get the money? Two chicks at the same time. Duck in A. Man. I can imagine you picking them up from the sandbox now. Ayo. Bitches. Hi chat. Blush. You wanna get out that sandbox and come in this sweet ride with a real man? Yes exclamation point exclamation point exclamation point exclamation point 11. Then, everyone turned their head away from the jungle gym, the hopscotch, the tag game, and watched Chad ducking them right in the pussy. I would show my teacher that I'm better at math than her with complex calculus problems. Hostum now manuscript. Speckerman. She just looks at you and goes, you didn't show your work so this is wrong anyways. I'd take this one step further. Show her that you're a genius, and then when she freaks out and goes to tell the principal what a prodigy she's found he comes and asks for a demonstration. Then act like an oblivious 5 year old. Mind duck that teacher 4 years by occasionally whispering physics concepts or political opinions to her when no one else is around. First, I'd color. I'm talking magenta tigers and a really really cheerful sun. Then I'd proceed to enjoy my childhood again, instead of wasting it trying to grow up. I'd treat my siblings better and help my older sibling to grow up more comfortable in her own skin. I'd treat my parents better and I'd reread all the books. At around 13 to 14 I'd start trying to do odd jobs and save as much money as possible. Then over the next 10 years invest in Google, Apple, and Bitcoin. And I'd do my best to find and meet my friends and significant others since I don't want to lose them. I don't care what anybody says, I'm putting a smiley face on my fucking sun damn it. Depending how far back you need to go I'll tell you the secret stock is Cisco. It is the backbone of all tech companies, since it makes the routers that builds the internet. In the 90s it had a 75,000% gain, and that is on stock, imagine if you used options. I was hoping the end of your post would go something like. And I'd do my best to find and meet my friends and significant others, since I don't want to lose them, so I could brag about her having tapped that before they did. <laughs> Try to correct my parents all the time in the most smart aleck way imaginable, whilst doing something like sticking Lego up my asshole, or throwing my dinner on the floor, or whatever the duck a normal 5 year old does. 
No daddy, you're not jealous of your friend's nicer car. You're envious that your friend has a nicer car. Jealousy implies fear of being replaced by someone else eats crayon. Go back in time. The world is your oyster and you can do whatever you want. I'd stick Legos up my asshole. Edit. Darn it reddit. This is now my top comment. Ducking brilliant. Cry because my altered existence means everyone who was born after I was 5 will be someone different. Little sister, cousins, friends, all gone. I would then feel weird about killing a 5 year old version of myself in an alternate timeline. I probably wouldn't interfere too much with the state of affairs in the world, wouldn't try to tell anyone I was from the future. A lot of big things would probably still happen, but by no means would be certain. What I would do is just pick up my life where it is right now and keep going forward. I'm at a similar stage where my dad was in school, so I'd just study his physics and engineering books in private. It'd be kinda cool to see my grandparents and great-grandparents and all my family at younger ages. Then by the time I hit 23 again I'll get transported back to being 5 again. I'll think duck. This time around I will duck with everything, try to make as many predictions as possible, and cause as much chaos as I can with knowledge of a few years in advance. I hit 23 and find myself at 5 again and again and again. I try different things, but now I've lived as long as an old man. But I never get to see any progress into the future. I'm trapped here. I see people born after me as temporary, and they are often very different. The people who were born before me become these constants who I know way too well, as I see them only at one time of their lives, and it happens again and again and again. Hundreds of years pass. I've learned everything I can from every perspective that I can. I've mastered every sport, I've gotten PhDs at a young age in every educational discipline, I lived a short life as a hermit. I duck with the timeline, I use my knowledge to gain power in different companies and work towards the goal of finding out what is happening to me. Thousands of years in my time pass. Now when I'm born, the world jumps ahead. At first it was a few years. As I remember more and refine my techniques for re-establishing power and using thousands of people in each timeline to research what I see fit, the world begins to jump ahead by decades, then centuries every time I come aware at 5 years old. But I hit a wall. There is only so much you can remember. Only so much you can do. I tried killing myself, but it sends me right back to being 5 years old. Sometimes that was a strategy if I made a mistake in the forward progress. Soon I reach the world to a level of technology that understands what is happening to me and realize that I caused it to myself. I reset the world one more time. I don't want the world to just reflect myself and my goals. I'm noon. I work in silent with the technologies I have learned to develop over the thousands of years I was alive, only to step in after I no longer know what is going to happen. If this had been a reply in r slash writing prompts, it would have hit the front. And each time you revert back to 5, you wake up to I got you babe. Probably creep out everyone around me even more than I already did at 5. A 5 year old with all the knowledge of a 28 year old is generally not going to go over well socially. Think of your parents point of view. One day their 5 year old is walking around chattering about dinosaurs and regular other 5 year old things. The next day they wake up knowing calculus and physics and whatever else you might know. I was thinking along these lines as well. I'm 50. Edit. Also, imagine the frustration of being that adult trapped in a 5 year old's body. Your actual peers treat you like a precocious child. Your apparent peers think you're a weirdo and avoid you. On top of that, you likely have at least a decade of celibacy to look forward to. Dark thought of the day, you can't have any relationships with those of the opposite gender or even close friendships until you are 18 without feeling like a pedophile. Fall into a crippling depression as I'm no longer with my wife and my son no longer exists, and knowing there is no way to recreate the circumstances that led to me meeting my wife in the first place. You're a glass half empty kind of guy, ain't Shire. Dude, how unique could the circumstances be that you can't arrange to meet your wife somehow given a 15 year head start? What was she locked in a Soviet gulag? I could probably even figure it out in 15 years. Your son might be trickier. Chances are the same sperm won't meet the egg. 
there was a story posted here on Reddit where a guy fell into a coma, and while he was under he dreamt that he had a wife with kids, then he woke up and became super depressed. It was interesting. Someone might have the link, I hope. That's a very interesting perspective. I actually daydream about this all the time. I would be the wisest 5 year old in the world, but to not freak people out, I would keep my thoughts to myself for the most part. When I grew up to be a teenager, I'd ace high school and avoid making poor decisions. I would probably be really bored though, hanging out with my own age group and having an adult's brain. You'd probably just have an entirely different circle of friends due to your maturity level. I'd totally fill my conversations with blatant innuendo. My neighbor's cat got caught in the rain. I wanted to dry it off, but I love the smell of wet pussy. Are all chicken sandwiches made from hens? What if there's a rooster somewhere and I've accidentally eaten cock meat? And adults everywhere would grow uncomfortable around you. You'd be a baby Tobias Funk. My mom would tell me to go to kindergarten and I'd begin to protest, but then I'd realize I get nap time. So I'd go to kindergarten. Wise choice. Run into a girl's locker room while changing. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just 5, but I knew you guys would be here. I know things. They'll probably find you cute and get HUGZ. Not meth. I think this is true for any age. Even Lindsay Lohan didn't do meth at age 5. Dad, it's 1979. You should invest in Microsoft. First, what the hell is a Microsoft? Second, my paycheck got boned so hard by inflation we are eating scrambled eggs and fried rice for dinner again. Third, stop asking your teacher to retake your standardized test. Who listens to a 5 year old regarding investments in the first place? Edit, yeah, I get it you turds. If the kid was using logic and blah 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 he'd be convincing blah 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 profit. Dad, I'm really interested in the stock market. I know you're planning on getting me a Nintendo, but instead, I want to sit down and pick out some stocks to save up. Will you help me understand them? Spend some time with me and teach me stuff? Oh, and maybe you can tell grandma to get me these instead of a useless savings bond. Invent dank memes before anyone else and be the ruler of them all. But then who is phone? Push ups. Then I'd be ready to kick that kid's ass that beat me up in 4th grade. Push ups won't really make you ready for a fight. I would pay way more attention in school. Actually take it seriously and take advantage of some pretty nice programs they had in high school. I would probably not work as much as I did when I didn't even need to in high school and immediately afterwards. Actually start saving like my mom told me I should. What were some of the things you wanted to take advantage of in high school? I like this answer because it involves you doing things to improve your life that don't include using future knowledge to become a gazillionaire or taking over the world. It's painful to think of how many hours I spent making $6.50 an hour when I cold been doing something to get into a better college. <laughs> Buy stock in a few new companies, Apple and Google. Go evil. You know 9-11 is going down in buying stock in Lockheed Martin and Halliburton. You cannot buy stocks being 5, can you? I guess you, as a 5 years old, would have to convince someone else to do it. <laughs> Try to duck all my teachers. All of them. All. Same. I'll penetrate them with my 1 inch punisher. Reverted to the age of 5. I wondered what to do. It was a wonder I was still alive. Let alone maintain my adult IQ. School would be a breeze now. My classmates would be pushed to the bleachers. I'd get straight A's, of course. And then I'd rape all of my teachers. Wonder why I'm 5 again. You're the first person whose reaction was like, wait, why am I 5? Everyone else just seemed to accept it immediately. You've been visited by the rare Aurea cow. You will be blessed with tasty Aureus and milk, but only if you comment you look tasty, cow. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more daily videos.